Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks update video. In this video we'll be covering the update as of today which is 0.5.8. As always we'll go over the new features added, finally go ahead and test a few of them out. So with that all set, let's go ahead and get started. So to start with we're going to be talking about the two new additions of items here in the game at the moment. That's the addition of the RGB light and the RGB indicator. Now these were designed to be used in conjunction with the microcontroller itself. Uh, how you pretty much get these connected is by using the composite signals or the nodes themselves. Uh, now if you're a little bit confused on the composite part side of things, I have done a video, I will link it up in the top right right now. Uh, so you can go check out that. Pretty much what you're doing is you're converting three numbers into a data signal uh, so for this will be channel one channel two and channel three and you're sending that across into the rgb light which is once again a composite signal and that's then transferring it into the light itself now the light runs on two different modes it runs on rgb mode and also an hsv mode rgb mode obviously red green and blue so you're going to be sending in your number signals into your microcontroller uh, or you'll have the signals within that it's then going to output a um, composite signal it's then going to get read by the actual light controller so if you were to give it a number value between zero and one on any of the red green or blue channels it would then go ahead and actually convert it across i'll show you a demonstration later to obviously tell you more or less what that does and how it works uh the going on to the hsv mode this is where it controls the hue saturation and the actual value or the brightness of the actual light so you would go ahead and you would change the color between zero and one and then you can go ahead and actually go and change the hue the saturation and the value of it which is quite interesting uh you can actually get into quite more detail and making whole different kinds of objects and things within the game itself as i said uh, i have a little demonstration uh, that was actually provided by the devs so we can go ahead and check that out right now i have it just over here now going on to the different modes as you can see here we have two pretty much basic lights over here or the RGB lights themselves. One of them is set up in RGB mode, which is just over here. So simple numbers going into a microcontroller, which is converting them into a composite signal and it's gonna get read by the light itself. On this side, we have the HSV. Once again, going into the microcontroller, so numbers going into the microcontroller, converting into composite, coming out as composite and going into the light as composite. Uh, so it's just a more advanced way of setting up your lights, but it lets you change these lights on the fly. So you can see RGB values, all on zero at the moment if we go ahead and do the red one you can see the red light is moving across and then we can also move along with the green and it's now changing the color of the light and then moving on to the HSV you can see here if we were to go ahead and change the H it doesn't do anything at the moment S doesn't do anything at the moment and V you can see this is obviously going to be our value if we were going to go ahead and change this saturation how much it's getting saturated and then the H the hue of it so what hue we want so pretty simple uh, pretty easy as i said you can get into some really nice ideas with it uh, you can see here we have the first one this is literally just strobing them between different colors uh, which is really quite nice so they're completely going and that's all built into this little microcontroller once again um, this is a simple toggle button that's turning on and off and all the logic is in that microcontroller itself if we go to go ahead and move on to this other example this is taking use of the hsv system so you can see here the colors are changing but they're also going darker and lighter as they move along which is pretty cool um but yeah that's pretty much about it um i don't know if everyone's going to be able, going to be using these um but it does bring a, a new type of logic in the game which is really quite cool and interesting and new components obviously uh now moving on to the next thing they've gone ahead and added is something to do with the mic controllers now they've gone ahead and added a switch box for the composite signal itself. This is something that I really want to see and I think a lot of the Stormwork community wanted to see with the um, obviously getting into quite a lot of detail with the composite signals and the microcontrollers themselves. Uh, so you can see here it's a simple switch box. It pretty much has an on and off and then you have a basic on off node that goes ahead and controls it so you can switch between different uh, data signals coming in or composite signals coming in and then send out one that you want now a typical use case scenario for this would be if you have multiple different cars um, or train for example um, that you wanted to to control so say for example you have 
three locomotives, they can all output data. Um, however, you want to transfer data between all of them. You would then set up, for example, you could go link them all on their offs together. And then whichever one you want to go and jump into, you could go hit that turn, that key switch, and then take your signal from the actual locomotive itself instead of passing it through, which is pretty cool. Um, this is something, as I said, something I really want to see. It makes the logic much easier to do within the mic control itself. You, meet, you will need much less um, logic in here. I've got more or less the same system uh, for my train controller, so we'll go ahead and do it. You can see the amount of logic that I had to do to replicate that uh, instead of having switch boxes. So I'm really happy to see that they've gone ahead and actually added that switch box. It will make building, building these mic controllers much easier with that composite added in there. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there, guys. Uh, as always, comment below what you'd like to see in any future videos. Why there? Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to follow any of my upcoming content. And finally, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.